One of the best ways to generate business using LinkedIn is by engaging with your prospects' content. After all, your prospects work hard on their content. So if you're consistently showing up, engaging, commenting, liking their stuff, then they're gonna start seeing you more as a real human being, which then opens the door for you to later on down the line, engage them in the DMs, hopefully book them into a sales call and even convert. However, constantly keeping track of all of your prospects and their posts, and then even taking time to leave a personalized comment on all of their different stuff, that takes a lot of energy. But what if I told you that there was an actually an AI that could automate this entire process for you so that you can actually build your social relationships on LinkedIn with a snap of a finger? Well, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you a tool that can help you do exactly that. All right, so let's go through a typical workflow. Now, the best way that you'd normally do social engagement on LinkedIn is obviously you would go down and you would pretty much find any of the prospects that you are thinking is a good client. And then you just leave a comment in one of the posts that they're making, right? So typically you would read through their content. You try to identify something interesting about it, something you learn from it, something that you could potentially say to add additional value. And then you would post it. And then from that, hopefully you're able to gain the attention of that particular prospect. And if you do this again and again, they'll start to notice your name. And eventually when you do DM them, they'll be like, oh, I know you, you're that guy who consistently tries to add value to my posts, right? And if you even have Sales Navigator, which is the premium version of LinkedIn, you can build these targeted lists of your ideal prospects. And then you can actually get updated on just when they're posting which is really, really good because that way you don't have to go through every single one of these random posts inside vanilla LinkedIn to find your perfect prospect. Sales Nav will make it much, much easier for you to do this social selling. That being said, it's still very difficult and time consuming to be putting tabs on these individual prospects, to be reading through all their posts, and then to be coming up with a specific comment for them. And certainly if you're doing this at a high volume, five, 10, 20 people every single day, you're going to have to spend a lot of time. And keep in mind, this isn't like a one-time activity. Let's say you are trying to sell to Simon Mills, just because you left a single comment on one of his posts, that doesn't mean that you're necessarily gonna be able to sell into him yet. You might need to be doing it over weeks or even months before you're at a stage where they're interested in actually having a business-oriented conversation with you. So, despite this being very effective and compared to cold outreach where whoever your prospect is, like they literally don't know anything about you at all, so the conversion rate is very low, you're gonna have a higher conversion rate with the prospects that you're trying to actually build out these longer term relationships with. But once again, the issue is it just takes a lot of time. So what is it that I am proposing that you do instead that will allow you to actually execute this process without needing to take up as much energy and sweat equity as doing this totally manually. So the tool that I've been experimenting with the last few weeks is Powering. And this is a really interesting tool because it actually leverages artificial intelligence to essentially do social listening for you. It'll try to find whichever your ideal perfect prospects are. It'll actually look at all of the posts that they're making. It'll analyze what it is that the content is about. And then it'll automatically leave a personalized comment in their posts on your behalf. So let's head to the power in dashboard. The first thing that you might actually do is you might actually identify what are your perfect ideal clients. Now you're going to obviously have to do a little bit of upfront work yourself because power is not going to know what your ideal customer base is. But if you do know, you can actually just grab their LinkedIn URL and you can more or less just copy and paste it into power in. And then you could just tell power and Hey, these are my ideal prospects. Let's essentially keep tabs on them and then listen to whenever they're making posts so that I could essentially drop a comment on their feed. So now you just saw Sangram who I just found on LinkedIn and now he's inside my power in targeted list alongside some of these other people that I've already put on. Now that's one way that you could find people to comment on utilizing just a targeted list with their URLs. But another method that you can use is by using search criteria. So in this situation, there's a couple searches that tend to have a lot of overlap with the type of content that I'm creating. Organic marketing, LinkedIn ads, lead generation. So the people who are sharing content about these particular topics, they're likely gonna be interesting or interested 
in my type of content. And to give you an example of that, if I was to go back on LinkedIn and I was just to search up um, lead generation as an example, right? If I was to then go into posts, there's going to be all these people who are posting similar content in that topic. And these are people that I could also be utilizing the power of power in for as well. So those are the two methods that you can utilize in order to identify what content you're going to want to be commenting on. And then once you've essentially assigned it, the technology will just go and do this automatically. So to give you an example of a couple comments that power has left on my behalf, here is the most recent one. Basically, Alex here, he released a post that talks about how you should engage and send DMs and send connections and do it often. These are actually things that I'm a big proponent of as well. Now, obviously, if I was to take the time and be listening to all of Alex's posts and I was to read this and I took the time to then write a really good comment in response, I could do that and it would work really, really well. But the fact that Power In can essentially do this on my behalf, essentially analyze that the post is about engagement and social media, and then it could write the comment on my behalf. That's really, really cool. Now, I'm not going to lie. If I was to write my own comments in response to this on my own without the need for AI, I could make it much better than what AI can write as of right now, right? It's, it's almost 2024. AI can write really, really well, but there's still ways of which it could improve. I definitely could make something which is just much more profoundly impactful. But the reality is I'm just not going to do it because I'm too busy, right? I don't have the time to be essentially stalking all of my ideal clients and then spending another hour and a half writing everyone an amazing comment. I would much rather just save the time. And if I can even at least get a good amount of comments in that are at least somewhat relevant and I'm doing this 20 times, 30 times, 40 times a day, I'm going to take that. Now, a question that you might actually have is, how do I make sure the comments that Power In is leaving are comments that I would actually write? How do I make sure that it's in my tone of voice? And this was something that was really interesting. I actually had a conversation uh, with the founder of Power In because once I found this tool, I was kind of intrigued. I wanted to reach out, uh, see how they set it up. I believe they actually just are using ChatGPT's API and they're essentially just using the large language model that OpenAI had made. And that's actually how they're basing the comments off of. But there's a couple things that you actually can provide power in in order to augment the basic comments that ChatGPT would create. For example, some of these things that you could tell the system to do to modify your comments would be how long your sentences are, how formal you want to be speaking is in regards to the tone of your voice, your overall excitement, right? You can even drop a couple example comments that you've left in the past and then ChatGPT can kind of read your typical writing style and then it could try to come up with more comments that would seemingly align with the way that you would typically write down your comments. So I thought this was actually really quite interesting. So Power In, I think it's a really interesting tool. You should give it a shot and you can actually sign up for a free trial down below in the description box. So anyone who's serious about actually using LinkedIn for business development, they really should do this because cold outreach on its own is not enough anymore. It's 2024 and people get spammed so much these days by people who are just doing cold messages. If you want to stand out, you're going to have to engage a little bit more than just spamming people in their inbox. And this is a great way to do that. So my name is Lloyd Yip. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are curious about how to build up better systems to drive leads on LinkedIn, whether it be utilizing outreach or paid ads or content, then definitely book a call with me down below. I've helped over 130 plus clients around the world at this point, And a lot of them are obviously deploying LinkedIn in order to scale their businesses. So I would love to have a conversation with you if you feel as though that's a problem that you're trying to overcome. And once again, thank you for hanging out with me. See you next time.